What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Producing in a Pandemic, where we talk about tools and resources for artists and creatives. I'm your host, William Thompson, and in today's episode, we're going to continue um, talking about ways to get online production services. Now, if you remember from our uh, episode last week, we talked about one of my personal favorites, really what I consider to be an underrated uh, service and platform, which is called Fiverr. Uh, Fiverr is a great way to get industry quality uh, services without paying industry prices. Uh, if you are concerned in regards to the quality, they do have Fiverr Pro. That's one of the things I love about their platform. They don't just have the freelancers. They also have professionals that you can reach out to. It's going to be more costly. It's going to be closer to the standard industry cost for using the Pro. But you'll know that the person that you're working with has been verified by Fiverr as a professional. So um, it's a great service. It's one that I uh, have used, one that I am using currently. I'm working on a song right now um, for my album. And I just um, sent uh, some music to a couple of musicians that I uh, found on Fiverr. So I'm using it currently as we speak, and I'm going to continue to use it in the future as well. Um, it has proven to be really a great gem. But uh, it's not the only service that's out there. It's not the only service that's out there. So we're also going to talk about another service that I have utilized uh, throughout the pandemic uh, in particular. Uh, and this service is called Sound Better. Uh, Sound Better is another freelance marketplace. But one of the differences between Sound Better and Fiverr is that a lot of the people on Sound Better are industry professionals. Um, so you have the opportunity to work with people that are not only vetted, but actually have credits to their name, credits to um, some of your favorite artists, Beyonce, Adele, uh, John Legend, uh, wh whoever, whoever your favorite artist is, Carrie Underwood. I've seen all types of names um, in the credits list for these people from mixing engineers to um, it, session musicians, session singers, uh, and uh, these credits are verified. So uh, they're not just put there, but they are verified um, by uh, a site called All Music, which hosts, you know, liner notes and credits for albums. So these are not just credits that are listed, but they're also verified. So let's go ahead and talk about Sound Better. Now, Sound Better um, is a wonderful service. I'm going to read something here that I found. Um, this is how it's described on LinkedIn. It says, Sound Better is the world's leading music production marketplace, helping musicians worldwide connect and hire top music pros. Um, so it is not just um, one of the best. It is considered to be the leading music marketplace place um so if you need um producers if you need beat makers if you need mixing engineers mastering engineers you can find all of that on sound better um so sound better is great for a couple of reasons one if you are looking to offer your services if you're a producer and you're looking to offer your services and get into production and get more credits you can um offer your services as a seller and uh, the more you work with people, the more you get reviewed and the more positive reviews you have, the higher your rating goes, the higher your rating goes, the higher you are listed when, you know, people are searching for you, especially if they are filtering, you know, based on a particular genre. So say you're a hip hop producer or a beat maker. So what you can do is you can offer your services on sound better and include a sample uh, include your rates based on what you do. So maybe it's, you know, I do 300 for, uh, you know, for beats uh, or whatever, you know, whatever your cost is, you know, and then people, they can request you, contact you, you give them a quote, they pay the quote, 
and then you go ahead and get to work. So that's a great way, especially if you are doing this on the side or if you're trying to build up your clientele. It's a great way to get um, some uh, some solid feedback in regards to your services. It's a great way to get some established and uh, established credits to your name. Uh, which is great. That's that's one thing that you really can't beat when it comes to being a producer. Now, if you're someone like me who's not yet offering production services, but you are working on projects yourself, they have literally everything you can think of. So uh, you can find singers, you can find session musicians for practically any instrument. Um, if you need an oboe player, if you need a banjo player, if you need someone to play ukulele, you know, some of those obscure instruments that, you know, people don't necessarily think about. If you need someone to do um, percussion, you know, outside of, you know, your standard drum set, you need, you know, hand percussion, world percussion, you can get those things. If you do need the standard piano, keys, guitar, um, electric bass or upright bass, you can get those services as well. And there are plenty of people um, that you can find. Uh, one of the things I like especially is the search feature, the fact that you can um, not just search based on instrument for what you need, but also based on genre. So when the sellers are putting out their services, they indicate you know what their genres are. Okay, I do R&B, pop, hip hop, gospel, jazz, you know. And from there, you can filter out who you need so you're not just looking at, um, you know, a, a big list, a database of people, but you're actually concentrated on um, the genre that you're working on. So for me, being a gospel artist, being a Christian artist, I'm always looking at uh, the gospel section. And I found, you know, musicians uh, that I either want to work with or am working with in regards to um, my project, my album that I'm working on right now. So it's great to be able to uh, find uh, those uh, musicians uh, there. Uh, one of the things I also love, and I said this earlier in my intro, is the fact that these are industry vetted people. These are not, um, you know, there are some uh, some sellers that don't have a lot of credits or don't have any credits listed there. You don't have to work with them. You know, or you can work with them in order to try and give them credits because, like I said, you can uh, put up a sample, and if you like that sample, you can still work with them. But uh, you have all the information there that you need in order to make an informed decision. That's really what I like about it that you're able to make an informed decision about who you want to work with. So, you know, if you see someone and it's like, okay, this person has mixed for so and so. You know, that's great. Um, I remember one time, in fact, um, I'm in the I'm in the middle of getting ready to release uh, my next single called Just For Me. And when I was first uh, doing the production for it, I was like, you know, it needs some strings. And I found someone, you know, I found someone that was like, all right, bet, you know, he's done strings for Kirk Franklin, uh, for uh, Ricky Dillard, for a lot of, you know, the artists that I look up to that model my sound off of. I was like, okay, bet. Let me, you know, see how much your quote is. He sent me a quote. That giant hit me in the chest. It was like, who? I wasn't ready for that. But you can make an informed decision. I was able to, you know, say, you know, this is out of my budget at this time. And I found another seller that was in my budget and he recorded beautiful strings. Um, and you'll hear him on, on the single. The, the strings sound amazing. He's my new go to guy um, for for string arrangements, um, for, for string recording, unless I ever want a like live orchestra. Um, if I if I'm looking for like a basic, simple um, string arrangement or I just need a string arranger, he's my guy. Um, and you're able to find those people that you need. You can find who you're looking for um, based on your budget. Um, you can put out a quote if you're not sure who to look for or what you're looking for. You can put out a quote and um, indicate, hey, I have a job that needs to get done. You know, I need someone to play piano for a cover song I'm doing, for example. Maybe I want to cover All of Me by uh, John Legend. I can say, I need someone to record piano for a YouTube cover I'm doing. 
People will respond. They will indicate what their quote is in terms of their price. I go through the different quotes. I determine which one I want to use. I select that one and I move forward. So it's great to be able to have that freedom and have all that information in order to be sure that you are making uh, the best choice that's possible for your music, for uh, your sound, for your song, for your track. Uh, That's really, really important. I think it's really, really, really important. Uh, One of the other great features of Sound Better, and now this feature I haven't personally used myself just because of uh, my production style but uh if you are someone that maybe you're a songwriter and you get inspired when you hear music maybe you don't have any particular melody in your head but you're a really good songwriter and you want to um you know put together a song um what you can do is you can license music from sound better so producers will submit their music and you can license, you know, a beat. So you can license, uh, maybe it's R and B, maybe it's hip hop, maybe it's uh, country, maybe it's pop. You can license it though. And it's yours. Once you license it, it's yours. You can write to it. You can create to it. You can record to it and release it as your own original song, uh, which is great. Not a lot of people, or a lot of services are really offering that. Um, I think there's another site called BeatStars that does something similar, but that's all they do. To have a one-stop shop like SoundBetter where you can get production services, you can get mixing, mastering, you can get session musicians, session singers, you can get those services, but at the same time also get other resources like um, original beats, and uh, melodies and things like that and tracks that you can license for your own use that is a great deal and uh, I think especially if you are uh, someone who is trying to break into the industry if you are trying to break into your career and you want to have high quality music high quality instrumentals in particular I definitely would recommend to look at um, sound better to either license their music or to work with producers to create your own original sound. So that is, um, one of the uh, platforms that I I've been using a lot, um, you know, to speak more to, you know, just how valid, um, sound better is a few years ago. And you may not know this, but a few years ago it was owned by Spotify. So, um, Spotify, one of the leading um, uh, streaming services uh, when it comes to music, one of the leading music and podcast streaming services is was an owner or the owner of Sound Better. Um, the founders, you know, they reached out to them. They um, Spotify invested and they had um, an ownership in them. So for a while it was Sound Better by Spotify. Um Spotify in 2019 sold it back to the founders. So the founders of Sound Better are the owners again. But the fact that um, Spotify saw the value in it, um, I think, speaks volumes. It also was very helpful in terms of increasing the uh, number of musicians, uh, increasing the number of um, sellers that were on there. So there are plenty of options, you know, in terms of uh, what you need. So uh, I definitely, you know, definitely, definitely recommend that you take a look into Sound Better in order to figure out if this is going to be the best fit for you. All right. So uh, I hope this information has been helpful. Um, I know when I first um, heard about Sound Better, I want to shout out John Mike uh, of Gospel Producers. Um, he is uh, it's actually his podcast, Musician of Mondays, that um, uh, got me hip to uh, to Sound Better. I had not heard of it, and then I was watching his podcast, and he actually did an interview with a musician that was uh, one of the top sellers on there. And uh, you know, it's really great. I was looking at it at first, you know, because I was like, I trying to you know get some extra bread trying to get some extra money things like that and you know maybe this is a way for me to kind of break into the music industry by 
um, selling production services. But for me, I've actually ended up using it more as a consumer than as a seller. Um, not knocking it. If you want to be a seller, I strongly encourage that if you have the ability to sell your services, to monetize them, to go and pursue that, to get as many streams going, whether it's Fiverr, whether it's Sound Better, whether it's another service. I know that I've seen, I've actually seen some people that do both. Um, I know the drummer that I used for Just For Me, I bought his services on Fiverr. But when I was looking for drummers for the next project on Sound Better, his name popped up as well. So uh, there are a lot of sellers that they do both, where they will sell on one or sell on the other. Um, so again, that just speaks to the quality of both services. Um, but you know, today we're talking about Sound Better. So I strongly encourage that if you are in need of production services or if you are looking to sell your services as either a producer, a musician, a singer, or an engineer of any sort, whether it's mixing, um, or uh, mastering, I strongly encourage you to um, look into Sound Better as a way to um, monetize your gift, your talents, and uh, get those multiple streams of income going. All right. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to another episode of Producing in a Pandemic. If you enjoyed uh, today's episode and want to hear more about um, these topics, these kind of topics, uh, please, I encourage you to, uh, you know, to subscribe, to follow the podcast. Uh, we are on YouTube, uh, as well as, uh, Google, Spotify, and Apple podcast. Uh, so please, uh, follow, like, comment, share, subscribe until next time, guys, keep creating.